Hi guys, this is AS Chemistry, Combustion of Hydrocarbons, question 10. 0 0.2 moles of a hydrocarbon undergoes complete combustion to give 35.2 grams of carbon dioxide and 14.4 grams of water as the only product. What is the molecular formula of the hydrocarbon? So, based on the masses given, we can calculate the empirical formula. So, the number of moles of CO2 would be x CO2 and the number of moles of H2 would be y upon 2 H2O. So, for these two, the mass of CO2 is 35.2, mass of H2O is 14.4. We divide each of these masses by the MR values, which is 44 for carbon dioxide and 18 for water. This gives us a value of 0 0.8 for carbon dioxide and 0 0.8 for water. Since this value is the same, we need to divide this number by the simplest number out of the two, so which is uh, going to be 0 0.8, giving us a molar ratio of one is to one. But here we need to realize that X is equal to one, but Y upon two is equal to one. So if Y upon two equals one, y would be equal to 1 into 2 giving us a value of 2. So the empirical formula is CH2. So now let's look at the options. We've got C2H4. So the empirical formula will be CH2. We've got C2H6. The empirical formula will be CH3. For option C, the empirical formula will be CH. And for D, it will be CH2. So this eliminates options B and C. Now we are left with A and D. The next thing we need to do is find out how uh, many moles of carbon dioxide and water are produced for options A and D and then calculate the masses. So in order to do that, first we need to find out the moles of carbon dioxide produced. So in the case of A, the moles of CO2 produced would be 2 moles of CO2 because it would be x CO2 and y upon 2, 4 upon 2 is 2 moles of H2O. And since the moles of the hydrocarbon are 0 0.2, according to the molar ratio, 2 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.4 moles of carbon dioxide and 2 into 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.4 moles of water. Now that we have moles of carbon dioxide and water, in order to calculate the mass, we need to multiply the moles by the MR. So 0 0.4 into 44 gives us a value of 8.8 .8 and 0 0.4 into 18 gives us a value of 3.6. And the values that we needed were 35.2 and 14.4 so this is incorrect and this is incorrect as well so option a has been eliminated leaving option d as the correct option but we will calculate the masses of co2 and h2 produced so for option d we've got four moles of co2 according to the formula of c4h8 and we've got four moles of h2o so repeating what we did for option A, we need to multiply 4 by 0 0.2, which will give us 0 0.8 moles of carbon dioxide and 4 into 0 0.2 for water, which will also give us 0 0.8 moles of water. And the last step would be moles into MR. So 0 0.8 into 44 gives us a value of 35.2 and 0 0.8 into 18 gives us a value of 14.4. So 35.2 is matching with the answer that we obtained and 14.4 is also matching with the answer that we obtained. So this makes option D the correct option for this question. Question 11, 0 0.144 grams of an aluminum compound X reacts with an excess of water to produce a gas. 
This gas burns completely in oxygen to form water and 72 cm cube of CO2 only. The volume of CO2 was measured at room temperature and pressure. What could be the formula of X? So in order to find out the formula of X, we need to first find out what is the moles of CO2 produced. So that would be 72 cm cube divided by 24,000 cm cube giving us a value of 0 0.003 moles. The next thing we need to do is calculate the MR for each of these compounds. So in the case of Al2C3, the MR is 90. In the case of Al3C4, the MR is 129. In the case of Al4C3, the MR is 144. And in the case of Al5C3, the MR is 171. The AR of aluminum given is 27 and carbon is 12. So we multiply these values by the number of atoms of each element in the given compound. That is how we obtained the MR of each of the compounds. The next thing we need to know is how much uh, of the compound would be present. So the moles of carbon dioxide are 0 0.003. So here we've got three moles of uh, carbon present so the ratio would be 3 is to 1 so the moles of Al2C3 would be 0 0.003 divided by 3 which would be 0 0.001 this is the value that we need for Al3C4 there are 4 carbon atoms so this would be 0 0.003 divided by 4 which would give us 0 0.00075 for Option C, we've got three moles of carbon, so it would be 0 0.003 divided by 3, which is equal to 0 0.001. And for option D also, we've got three carbon atoms, so that would be 0 0.003 divided by 3, which would be equal to 0 0.001 moles of the compound. So now, the next thing we need to do is calculate the moles of these compound present because the mass provided to us is 0. 144 grams. So in the case of A, it would be 0 0.144 divided by 90, which gives us a value of 0 0.0016. So this is not equal to 0 0.001. So this option has been eliminated. For option B, it is 0 0.144 divided by the MR, which is 129, which gives us a value of 0 0.0011 which is also incorrect for option c it is 0 0.144 divided by 144 which gives us a mole value of 0 0.001 which is in line with the moles that we needed that were calculated earlier so this option is correct so we can end the question here but let's work out the moles of the last one as well so that would be 0 0.144 divided by 171. This answer is definitely incorrect, but the moles calculated according to this value is 0 0.00842, which is incorrect as expected. So this makes option C the correct option for this question.